Good day, everybody. My name is Ms. Maboy. I welcome you to today's Grade 10 Business Studies lesson. Our topic is business opportunity and related factors. However, today we'll be focusing on the application questions of this um, topic. So let's start with the first application question. It says here, elaborate on the meaning of business opportunity. So remember when you're elaborating, you're expanding basically on the meaning of a business opportunity. So you are expected as a business that is learned to understand what we mean by business opportunities. All right, let's see the answer. All right, it says here, it is a chance to improve the current operations of a business and can contribute to greater profitability. It is a gap in the market because people's needs and desires are unfulfilled. So as a business studies learner, this is what you should be analyzing or observing even in your current communities or wherever you think, be it in a taxi, when you're in malls, you need to look at the gap. What is the gap in the market um, that is needed? Because you are doing business studies so that you can cl close the gaps. There's always business opportunities available wherever you go. Find the gap and come up with ways on how to close it. So that is what business opportunities Opportunities is all about but don't forget the whole point is to make income or to create others are creating jobs so find the gap in the market and then because the needs are unfulfilled so that is the definition of business opportunities we're going to go to the second question right the second question it says read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow right a reminder to everyone that whenever you see a scenario just know that you have to quote. Don't forget, when we quote, we are taking the information as motivation, taking it directly as is from the scenario, word for word. Nothing is going to be changed. Right, let's read the scenario. It says, Cynthia Shackle Services, which is CSS. Cynthia realized that needs and desires are the keys to a successful business opportunity. She identified a good business idea that will make her business a success. That is the first thing, identified a good business idea. She created a desire for her business through well-designed advertising and marketing campaigns. I always say this, that just by having a business idea alone is not enough. You need to now come up with ways on how to make the idea known to the public. Right, the first question says, quote the importance of assessing needs and desires in identifying business opportunity from the scenario. Again, okay. quote the importance, so meaning whatever that they need is in the scenario. Secondly, explain are the importance of assessing needs and desires in identifying a business opportunity. So other, other than what? Other than the ones that will be quoted in the scenario above. All right, let's start answering the question. I hope you've quoted, I've given you enough time to quote the importance of assessing needs and desires in identifying a business opportunity from the scenario, the scenario here by Cynthia Shuttle Services. All right, let's see if you're correct. Right, it says here, Cynthia realized that needs and desires are the keys to a successful business opportunity. That is the first thing. Here it is, Cynthia realized that needs and desires are the keys to a successful business opportunity. It's taken directly as is. That's what a quote is all about taking it as is, not changing anything. All right, secondly, she created a desire for a business or she created a desire for her business through well-designed advertising and marketing campaigns. It's here, word for word. It's here, we've quoted it directly from the scenario. I hope you are in the clear. I hope it makes sense to you. All right, the next question, explain 
Why else it is important to assess needs and desires when identifying a business opportunity? All right, let's hear. It says here, needs and desires form a guarantee for a possible market. Remember, these are the possible customers that you can get. When people have needs or desires that are not fulfilled, then a business opportunity is presented to fulfill those needs and desires. As human, we all have needs and desires. And if they're not fulfilled by this business here, then we can always go to business B or the second business or even next to that business. So we need to ensure that we fulfill those desires. Right, uh, so we're going to go to question number three. But before we go to question number three, we'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we finish the questions. I'll see you just now. <laughs> 